everyone, Emily here. Today is the second day of the lockdown if you're in tier four. And I just, oh no, I decided to draw a um, gingerbread bun. Um, I just ripped him by accident, unfortunately. So I tried to stick the back. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? When you do something and it's ripped. But you know what? He is okay. He's okay. He'll get through this. So we're going to draw a gingerbread man. I'm going to use probably chalk pastel. I did that one in um, um, oil pastel, but chalk pastel will be cool. So I'm Emmy Lou. I've just unfortunately eaten a whole bag of Percy pigs, which is not good. So I'm going to now have to do a, a, quite a lot of exercise. <laughs> but um, let's go. Let's go. Day two of the lockdown, if you're watching in England. And it's tier four. Okay, gingerbread man, super easy. We're just gonna start off with a nice big circle. Just think circle. Doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't matter if it's a bit wobbly, just a circle. And then as a guideline, just go down, like just put your pencil there, go down, 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 and just about there, do a little dot doesn't matter where you do it as long as you've got quite a big gap there and there and then you're going to I just thought maybe you could draw let's just draw it so we draw the line because it's just going to help us so it's like a little lollipop then you're going to go oh, this has to be straight and that is not straight is it <laughs> try and get yours straight if you can it's basically like a stick man and you're gonna go, and you're gonna go. Can you see that I've done that a bit rounded, that bit? It's okay if you don't, because you can round it off at the end, so it's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna shape it now. So we've got the basic layout of the, my gorgeous gingerbread man. And now we're gonna do this. I'm gonna touch about there. And you're gonna go around. And you do the same for the other side, so. Every time I go across, if I do something, I just float. And then, I'm just gonna try and see if it's the same. Because the arms could be a little bit shorter if you like. It's up to you how you want the arms to be. Then, as you go down, you can do big legs. So, oh, oh, oh. that is pretty much the whole shape of my gingerbread man. I think, as I said before, if you want to, the legs could be more closer together. So that means you'd go like that rather than out. But I quite like it like that because I can put lots of shapes and it's just really, really cool. Right, now we're going to do the face. Cool mouth and you could do any eyes. You know what, you could have cool shades on. Not that it's particularly sunny today, but <laughs> you could make it into a girl, a boy, whatever you like. We want to make this look 3D. So touch here and go to there. Touch here and you're going to go all the way to get to there. And then you do the same for that side. So just... Uh... Right, we've got to rub out some stuff now. So get the rubber. Quite a lot to rub out if I'm honest, but ah, <laughs> gonna take quite a while rubbing out. You yours will be super easy for this because ah, you just use a normal rubber. Ah, oh, I think I'm running out. <laughs> gonna need a new tipex from Father Christmas, perhaps. Right, now what we're going to do is if you think about gingerbread men, you can decorate it any way you like, but my one called George is he's gonna have, or a girl, it doesn't matter, but he's gonna have buttons in the middle. But we're gonna do icing. One girl is awesome, she did seven different layers of icing, so it doesn't have to just be one bit. So you can make it whatever you like still wet that tip in. I 
Okay, it's better if it's curly, the icing. I just think it looks more fun. And then here, you're going to do a button. But first we want a bow. So to do a bow, on that circle, just do, just do a rectangle. Or, reminds me of one of those sweets I used to eat. What were they called? I can't remember. Uh, fruity tooties or something. Oh, so good. Um, but you know, you can have a rounded shape is what I'm trying to say. So go out, go out, join up. Go out, go out, join up. Not that we can go out because we're in lockdown. <laughs> so anyway, now we're gonna do the nice buttons. You could do three. Oh, how much is, he's got three. So do you know what? I'm gonna do three. And you can decorate the buttons however you like, but I really like the idea of the bow being polka dot. It's just really cool, isn't it? So I'm gonna draw the polka dots on, but anything inside the bow, we wanna rub out. We don't need it. Ah. <laughs> it's tricky to rub out. If you rub out stuff by accident, just draw it back in, it's fine. Okay, right, that is that is my gingerbread man. I don't know if you can tell, but my I think that one's tiny, isn't it, compared to this one? But you want to do it the sh um, the colour. You want to do it the colour of the gingerbread. So get a really cool colour that's a bit like oh, a bit like sand. So for me, it would be this one. Maybe that one. Be that one. Can you see that? But if it's oil pastel. It would be kind of that one. You see that? It's home in. So I'm going to do a chalk pastel. So I'm just going to colour the whole thing. Whatever you're using, do a colour similar to this and just colour it all in. So even if it's paint. Oh, I painted one. I didn't want to show you now. I painted a canvas the other day. Do you know what? I'm going to go and get it because it's just in this bag. But just carry on, carry on colouring in. Oh, I, I'm going to find... Ooh, there it is. No, I, quite, I haven't finished it to be fair. But I did a little canvas that was a gingerbread man with a big nose. It looks cool. So yeah, just keep colouring in. Think about icing, it's going to be light colours if possible. So get your one finger. I don't want to smudge it too much because I've used the Tipex, haven't I? So you're going to see that annoying white line I did, but just ignore it. <laughs> ignore the white line. So if it's chalk, you do this. You blend it, you smudge it, but if it's oil, you don't need to. And obviously if it's paint you don't need to either. I could just do no. I did oil over it. Okay, anyway. Right. Once you've done that, you want to take a darker colour. So I quite like this colour to do the 3D bits, because that's pretty cool. just smudge that take your time and pause this video if you need to and if you like this video it's been helpful to you like it and subscribe to my channel and I can put more out for you okay now think think different colors for the icing I absolutely love this color but it can be any color I'm gonna do buttons this color so you want to make it colorful really the more colorful it is the more Christmassy and the more lovely it looks. I like the idea of blue icing. Can you get blue? I'm sure you can get blue icing, can't you? I couldn't imagine it tasting delicious, but maybe it does. Okay, so there's my blue. When you do it, just go over with your finger because that's really helpful. Then, I like the idea of having green eyes. Ooh, he looks cool. 
Uh, what kind of mouth? Do you know what? I like a purple bow. Don't know what colour mouth yet, but I will find out. I quite like the idea of the bow being purple and white for some reason. Yeah, do you know what? I quite like that. <laughs> then the mouth. Hmm. Do you know what? I like the idea of a pink, pinky purpley mouth. And I'm going to do, you decide as well, because you can do any colours. Um, now, I've got a black oil pastel, but you could obviously do it in chalk. I can't find my black, so it's going to have to be oil. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to outline it in black because it will look cool. Because it's gingerbread, normally it has a bit of texture to it, so you could do a couple of dots, but you probably don't need to. Um, so I'm going to outline it in black. Ooh, it's, it's tricky though. Oil pastel is super tricky to do it with. So I might be a bit messy, so just bear with me. Yours is going to be flat on the table and you're going to take your time, so... Yours will look awesome. Okay, I'm just going to... Light blue would have been nice for the icing, but I could go over it if I wanted to. Okay, now because this is oil, even if it was chalk, I need to go over it with my finger to set it. Like it smudges, it looks more, it looks more smooth basically. No. I have to make that noise. I don't know why I do make that noise. A habit, I think. <laughs> right, I'm just going over all the black lines. I quite like his eyes, he looks cute. Okay, there we have it. There's my gingerbread mat. Now, you can decide which one you think is best because that one I did in oil pastel, and if you did it in paint or felt, it looks amazing. That one is in chalk and it's I've done it a bit quicker so just bear in mind if you take your time it's gonna look amazing uh, but if you rush it it tends to look not as good so this one's family member to this one <laughs> so this one's his friend looking fine uh, share with me your gingerbread men and let me know how you get on happy Tuesday for the lockdown tier 4 of Christmas Everyone else, just have a great, great day. Bye. See you soon. See you tomorrow. <laughs>